hello. Welcome to the Chasing Dreams podcast. I am so excited for today's guest. We are talking about childhood dreams and we are featuring Miss Kiara Perkins. Kiara is a 13-year-old CEO, okay, <laughs> of Candles by Kiara. She uh, began Candles by Kiara at the age of 11 after making a candle for her dad for Father's Day. This honor roll student juggles school, extracurricular activities such as volleyball, cheerleading. I, I'm a cheer coach, so hey. <laughs> <laughs> and track and driving race car and running her business. Using her business as a platform, Kiara continues to encourage kids to become entrepreneurs. She recently spoke to over 123rd grade students, students at Glencliff Elementary about entrepreneurship. She is currently writing a book, okay, to encourage kids to become entrepreneurs. She, she enjoys networking with different businesses, doing motivational speeches, and spending quality time with her family. Kiara's motto is, a young creative mind can grow a business, and you don't have to wait until you're an adult to reach your goals. Yes, ma'am. She recently received the Who's Who in Nashville Award from Dr. Bobby Jones on his TV show, Bobby Jones Presents, and she received the 2019 Entrepreneur on the Rise Award. She is nominated for that award again this year, and she is also nominated for the Distinguished Daughter Award from the Women Who Rock Nashville Awards Gala. Kiara has been featured on all of the local news networks for being a young entrepreneur. Welcome to the podcast, Kiara. Thank you. Yes, I am so excited to have you here, um, and you've accomplished... Of course, you've accomplished so, so much. And I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you um, for chasing your dream. And your motto really speaks values, volumes. Like you don't have to wait until you're adult to start accomplishing the things that you want. And I think you're showing truth and, and your proof is in the pudding, right? <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Of course. So I like to start off each conversation by asking, what's the dream for you? Different people have different dreams, but the dream for me is to continue being successful, expand and grow my business, to also help others and encourage entrepreneurs of all ages. Yes, ma'am. So when did you realize the dream and how has it changed over the years? When I made my first candle, I was like, wow, this is a great idea. I can start a business. Yes. As, as time went on, I wanted to add different elements to my business, such as creating new candles, motivational speaking, and writing a book, which I did do. It will be released the day before Father's Day, June 20th. Awesome. That is so excited uh, for sure. So what inspired you to start your business? I wanted to do something different for my dad for Father's Day. So I looked up candle making videos and I made him the chocolate chip cookies and milk candle. The response from family, friends, and even social media was very overwhelming. They loved how realistic the candle looked and wanted one of their own. From there, Candles by Kier was created. Love it, love it, love it. So you started your business at 11, right? Yes, ma'am. What were some of the challenges you faced um, being a young business owner? The biggest challenge I had faced was not being able to get the things that I wanted to do done. Mm -hmm. I have a very busy schedule juggling schoolwork, candle making, driving a race car, extracurricular activities, and running a business. Mm -hmm. But my mom taught me something called time management. Now yes. I'm able to have a balanced schedule. I am all about time management. Um, and just to give you a little bit of background, I definitely re resonate with your story. Um, I was always busy I, as far back as I can think of. Um, like even when I think about like my senior year in high school, I was doing competitive cheerleading, which is a year round sport. Um, I was working part time. I was also doing concurrent enrollment at the local community college. And then on top of that, I was um, 
you know, doing school. And then I was involved in my church ministries and, you know, all of the things. And so when people look at me now and they're like, how are you able to do all the things you do? I'm like, well, it's habit at this point. So the fact that you're able to juggle all of that at 13, I think is definitely going to be advantageous when you grow and continue to build not only the business, but businesses, you know, when you, when you, when you start to add to the list. So it's definitely some good stuff for sure. Uh, what motivates you as a business owner? My parents. Sometimes mm. running a business can be very overwhelming, but my parents always encourage me and push me to the best I can be. Awesome. Awesome. So we're, it's, it's crazy to ask this question because you're starting off so young, but where do you see your business? Let's call it five, 10, 10 years from now. I want to see my candles in major stores or hopefully one day open a candle store of my own. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What grade are you in now? Eighth. Eighth. Okay. So we're going into high school. Are you planning on college as well? Yes. Yes. Or have you considered a major yet? I want to do finance and business. Sounds about right. <laughs> it's definitely going to be helpful for sure. So what would you say to someone who is um, in your age group who wants to start a business? Like what, what advice would you give them? They have to find something they're passionate about. No dream is too big or too small. They have, they have to stay positive. Don't let any negative comments or negative energy or negative friends stop you from reaching your goals. That's so true. I'm sorry. I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine. They have to be confident in themselves. If they don't believe in their ideas, nobody else will. Okay. <laughs> Those are all really, really, really great pieces of advice. Um, can I ask where those those thoughts come from? Like, did you experience some of those things or is it advice someone once gave to you? Like, where did that come from? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I've had some experiences with that issue. I had grew over the time and I had to learn from it mm -hmm. with also the support team from family, friends, and I also had to build off my business. So it, I kind of grew from it. So I learned from it. So I want to teach kids they can grow from it too as well. Love it, love it, love it. So with the success you've seen with Candles by Kiera, what would you say is your number one secret to success? Always staying positive mm -hmm. and having a great support team. Absolutely. What final thoughts do you have for us as an audience, um, but specifically for young people who are thinking about chasing those dreams? Being a kid myself, I like to encourage my peers and tell them that a young creative mind can grow a business and they do not have to wait till they're an adult to achieve their goals. Absolutely. Kira, this was so exciting for me. Um, thank you for being a part of our podcast. If thank people you. want to follow you, your journey, support your business, buy some candles, um, where, can, where can people find you? They can visit my website at candlesbykiera.com and see what I've created. They can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Candles by Kiera. And candles is spelled with a K. Awesome. And I'm literally about to go get some candles. I love <laughs> candles. So I'm going to go get me some. Y'all need Thank to go you. to candlesbykiera.com, order your candles, and get them going. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yay! <laughs>